So unhitching at your campsite or any place else you have to unhitch, you need to chalk the wheels. The camper has no brakes when it's not uh, connected to the vehicle. You want to chalk both the both of the wheels. One. Walk around the camper and we'll get the other one. There's the wheels are chalked. And then that cradles the jack, pull the pin. Pull this out. Like a lot of these videos, it's much easier with uh, two hands. So this will help keep the trailer from rolling around where you don't want it to go. Uh, doesn't matter when you put the thing upright, which hole, which there's two holes, front or rear. Um, which one you put it in doesn't make any difference. And then put the cotter pin back in to hold the pin in place, and then crank it down. Notice I'm using my foot to keep the wheel from spinning. All right, I haven't yet unhooked it from the truck, so I'm gonna take safety chains off now. And I like to just hook them right back here so they're not on the ground in the way. Uh, when you unplug, let's do the other safety chain here first. Um, you will find, you'll hear a little whistle when you unplug the electric. Um, that's actually true when you unplug it from a campsite as well. And that's the that little whistle that you may or may not have heard is the um, LP gas detector. So we're almost clear of the of the truck of the truck so we're gonna take this we're gonna unlock this little guy which helps keep that locked lift up on that latch and then we'll crank this up the rest of the way. So it's off the vehicle. Once you have it off, then you go into the normal setup. I like to store the lock so I don't lose it. I typically, once I've got it unhooked like this, I'll take that lock and I'll just put it right back in there. It serves a double purpose of keeping it from Make it a little harder to uh, make off the trailer, though that would be pretty hard with somebody in it. Um, but it also keeps the track of that lock so it doesn't go anywhere.